Hey, welcome back. And I know exactly what you're thinking. You're like, hey, Shell Touch is wearing the exact same outfit as his last video. I am. Yeah, I'm very observant. And I've explained this before. I'm just recording multiple videos in a row. And I'm not going to get phony. I'm not going to start changing shirts in between. I actually would have. I just forgot to bring the shirts out with me. And the house is... I'm only one man. Regardless, today we are going to be delving into... Well, a quick tip trick. I want to try to be really short today because I kind of went off the deep end in the last video, but I'm going to be really, really short and efficient and mind blowing. I promise you, I will be mind blowing in this episode. Today, we are going to be talking about money, 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 in particular, euros, and in particular, money protection, money safety, money hiding, paranoid pilgrim stealth security, conceptually speaking, of course, and uh, hit it. Okay, folks, welcome back. As promised, quick tip, trick, and hack. So, people are always asking in the forums and the groups, should I bring euros with me? Should I, where do I get euros when I get there? Yada, yada, yada. There's many schools of thought when it comes to procuring euros in Europe or before you get there. I am of the school where you get it before you go. Again, I don't want to be stressed out with all, everything already on my mind. I want to like present me needs to take care of future me make the adjustment a little more easy if you will so i let's be prepared again i was a boy scout page two paragraph three section one be prepared look it up Wait, what are we talking about? oh yes so euros so what i like to do is order them either from my bank beforehand or from triple a if you're a member of triple a I think a lot of you are of the age where you're members of AAA. No? Yeah, you are. You, you remember Triptix. We all remember Triptix now, sadly. Not all of us remember Triptix, but you guys remember Triptix. Anyways, AAA. So you can order euros there, and the exchange rate is really, it's like $10, I think. I mean, I think you pay $10 extra as to the amount you're ordering. I can't remember the exact amount, but it's really not that bad, and it's worth the convenience. So order, order, order before you go. A couple hundred, two to three hundred euro before you go is great to have on your person. That way you don't have to be looking for an ATM. And I think someone's shooting at me. But yes, you don't need to go to an ATM. You don't need to find a bank. That said, if you're one of those people like me that, you know, rely on uh, their password for their bank card, it's you have a word instead of the number sequence in mind. There's no letters on the numbers at the ATM machines in Spain, in most of the machines anyways that I've used. So you have to remember that number. So if you're relying on like... Bobby, or whatever the word may be, could be booby, the bird, eh? the bird, whatever, whatever. It doesn't need to be anything like that, but it's going to be something. But if you are relying on a word rather than a number sequence, learn the numbers because there are no letters on that keypad there. And you look kind of weird when you're pulling out your phone every time to like cheat. Yeah. <sighs> what were we talking about? Money. So order ahead. Get there and don't worry about it. Now, where do you keep your money? That's a good question. And it's also, you know, it's... Spain is awesome. I love Spain. But there are pickpockets there as there are in any big cities or any other countries. There are lots of people that are trying to separate you from your money in illegal ways. Right? Because otherwise that's just capitalism. <coughs> but now I'm getting philosophical. People, listen to me. So if you are traveling, if your money is inside your backpack and you are traveling through cities or towns on buses, trains, planes, automobiles, whatever, if you're in public places with your backpack and you have money in here or important stuff in here, so this might be a little side tip. Use your rain cover on the outside of your pack. Put the rain cover on and it makes it harder for pickpocketers to get inside your bag. I know, even if it's not raining, just do this as just a safety precaution. Thank me later. You won't even know that you need to thank me later because you're not going to know that someone tried to because it protected you. That's how awesome this tip is. So, that's if you're keeping your bag. However, I don't re recommend keeping money in your backpack. I recommend keeping everything important on you. I mean, you may have a, a laptop, a computer, or whatever you're carrying cameras, if you're influencers or whatever you call yourself these days. That might be in your bag. So again, keep the rain cover on there. 
Also, if you're si- sitting in a bar or a restaurant with your bag next to you, put your foot through one of the shoulder straps, just so it's attached to you in some way, shape, or form. Similar tip, piggybacking off of that, is while you're charging your phone at night, wrap the charger cord around one part of your backpack before you plug it into your phone. That way you don't forget the charger. That can happen too. So you kind of want to stay attached or coiled to your mortal possessions in some way, shape, or form. So those are, those are first tips. Those are preliminary tips, if you will. But money, this is what I do, and that's what I highly recommend. I'm not taking off my pants. This is what I do. Ooh, friction burn. I do a money belt. It looks like your ordinary, oh my, like military strapping belt. But this is a money belt, folks. And you could pack a lot of euros in here, up and down. I actually have, I have dollars in here as well. But I have euros. All the euros I'll be bringing with me, not all of them, but many of them are in this belt. I use bigger denominations in the belt, and I'll put smaller denominations other places. But what you want to do is just minimize the loss. If you get mugged, if you get pickpocketed, if you get anything taken off from you, minimize how much you're losing by distributing it to different parts of your person or your pilgrim person. And so this is a great place. You know, that said, if you are using a money belt, and you got to think about this, and you don't think about this until you start using money belts, but if you're buying clothes for off-trail, so after you get off the trail to hang out around town, it's easy to buy the drawstring ones, you know, something simple you can slip into. However, they don't have belt loops. So look for pants with belt loops just so you can keep this on you all the time. In fact, if you're going to find uh, some comfortable sleeping clothes too, like these, these pants actually, these are very thin, they're light, they're synthetic, cheap on Amazon, but they have belt loops. You could sleep in these. You could sleep in these. Sorry, I don't know what that was. But more importantly, you can hang out after you get off the trail and relax in them and relax knowing that your money or whatever you're keeping here, you can keep also a photocopy of your passport. Just important stuff is on you at all times. So that's the money belt. Another great, this is like a tip and a tip. This right here is actually a waterproof journal. These, I can write in the rain in this. I actually have a waterproof pen, too, right here, by the same company. This is by Write in the Rain, and it's Write, R-I-T-E, Write in the Rain, All Weather, Universal. This is a great journal. In this case, I think I bought it separately. So this is a, again, side tip, but if you're looking for something to journal in, if you're you're old-fashioned like me and you want to write, consider using, and they make smaller ones, too, flip notepads if you're not much of a writer, but they're waterproof. And that may be not important to you, but it's important to me. But the reason why I'm pulling this out is because I keep inside this, this, you know, place for pens, this slots for pens, I keep a Sharpie in here. Or do I? That's right, folks. It looks like an ordinary Sharpie, but it's not. It's actually, well, while it is, this does work. There is ink inside here. This is hollow. It's a safe. It's a money safe or whatever you want to put in there. So it's empty. So roll up some euros, hide it in here, and maybe keep this in a pocket in your backpack, or like I do with my journal, or anywhere on your person. But no one's going to steal a Sharpie from you unless they're out tagging and they there's ran out of ink. I don't know what they do in Spain. Doesn't matter. Although well, some of the signs, you see that. Castellano Leon. I don't know. You see some weird... I, I, I don't know. I don't know who these people are and why they're on the Camino doing this type of graffiti, but they are. Anyways, so this is one. Another great safe, we'll call them, is an ch- empty chapstick tube. So if you have some, or when well, I say chapstick, I mean lip balm. If you have a lip balm container, an old one, one that's not getting used much, you know, you can s- remove, screw it up all the way, remove the balm, roll it back down. You, you actually cut out the stick. If there's a stick in there too, cut that out. But now you have a little safe that you can tuck money into as well. No one's going to steal your chapstick. So empty lip balm containers, Sharpies, pens. Some people put money or euros behind their phone case. But I'm thinking if you're getting mugged, they're probably going to take your phone too. And be like, hey, cool. This phone came with 25 euro. So I don't know. Uh, you could do that, but it's like hiding some... It's kind of like hiding money in a golden safe. You know, they're going to want that too. Huh? Anyways, so think outside the box. These are just ideas I'm giving you and kind of telling the world now. So if anyone sees me, they know exactly what to look for. But I have other places as well. Hmm. You know, and that said, your credit card too. Have an extra credit card or bank card. Not sure? the same one, but from another bank if you have more than one. And hide that somewhere. 
That I recommend, I don't know, that you can put that in any place, a sleeping bag, some place that's like just random, that only you know where it is, so it's a backup card in case, again, you get robbed, mugged, or whatever, you just lose stuff. It's, you'll sleep better at night knowing that you have stuff in multiple places. And I think that's it. That's it. If you enjoyed today's tips, tricks, and hacks, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. We're really trying to build the channel. I know a lot of people watch on smart TVs now and often don't sign into their accounts, so they don't, they can't really like or subscribe, but come on, man. Just log in. Log in. Log in and like. Log in and subscribe. And again, if you have your own tips, and I'm sure you do, leave them in the comments below. We can all learn from each other. See the size of that bug? One, two, three, four.